Go tutorial and today's tutorial we're going to actually build the comment model for our uh, blog post here and we're also going to set up the admin. Next tutorial we'll uh, build a form that takes the user's uh, comment and we'll set up the uh, view in that as well. Um, so with that being said let's go ahead and get started with the comments. I'm going to come down here uh, below your post comment in your models.py within your blog directory we're going to go ahead and uh, make a model for comments or comment so class capital C O M E N T and we'll do models dot model all right so what goes into a uh, what do we need to put into our comment model well, first off, it is going to be hooked into the um, post, so it'll be one. There'll be uh, one post for unlimited number of models. So we'll use a foreign key, one to many, there. Um, so we can start there with uh, post is equal to models dot foreign oh, f capital F foreign key, and then we'll do uh, post since that's what we're hooking into. Um, and I'm going to put related name here, something we haven't seen yet. This is uh, like a relational, uh, you'll see this shortly why I did this but um, in the next tutorial, but just hang on with that. All right, so <clears throat> we'll throw a related name in there, which is a, a relation, all right. Um, so we got a foreign key. Next thing you want to do is probably get the user's name. So I'll just call them user, and we'll do models dot char field and we'll do max length of no, 250 um, so we get the user's name and then with comments what else should we have uh, email so you, you could um, maybe reply to them via the email that's also something we could hook into um, have like an automatic reply if someone replies to them maybe we'll look at that down the road so models dot uh, email field now we haven't seen the email field yet but email field um, actually checks to make sure it's in, in an email format so that's pretty cool it's a little different than char field we could use char field but e email field kind of gives us a little bit more uh, uh, validation there all right so we got user email um, how about the body of the co uh, comment so we'll do models dot text field all right um, then we'll probably want the date it was created so uh, create it that'd be models dot date time field um, auto now add because we want the current time that was added so true uh, and we're also going to do approved. Uh, it's going to be a boolean field where we can say yes, this comment's approved, or no, it's not approved. So we need something there to track that. So we approve models dot boolean field, and then we'll set that default to uh, false, All right? Because uh, we don't want it defaulting to true. Because if the user doesn't catch it, people can post whatever the heck they want in the comments section. All right, so <clears throat> that's basically our model. Um, since we're going to be using forms on the front end, we're going to need a way to save that form. So what we're going to do is define a function here, um, and actually save it or save the approved. <laughs> comment so define approved um, we'll do self dot approved equals true and then we'll do self dot save all right we'll see that when we start working with the uh, form itself and the human readable we'll do uh, define string self and return uh, self dot you use uh, user or email, I'll use user for now. So we'll go ahead and save that. I think that looks good. All right, let's go up to the admin section here. Um, we're going to throw this into there so we can take a look at it in the back end. 
before we jump into the next part or the next tutorial. So let's go ahead and put a class comment bum, 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 bum. admin admin dot model admin and for this to work I gotta put comment up here. Alright. So I just want a list display so I can see uh, the user's name, email, and if the post or the comment was approved. So we'll do list display, and in there, in the tuple, it's on the tuple, in our tuple, we're gonna say uh, user uh, email and approved. Oops, that's gonna be a string. Approved. And then down here, we'll do admin dot site dot register, and we'll do comment, and then comment, admin, boom, save it, and make sure your server's running, mine's running. Got to open up our admin section. We're gonna take a look at this. So we got comments here under our blog. So we'll just go ahead and add one for the heck of it. So it's gonna ask us post. So we gotta pick which post. We'll say this is a post, would be whatever one you picked. We'll say John is the user's name. His email is john at gmail.com. And his post is this is a awesome blog. Alright. We'll go ahead and save that. And I got an error. No such table blog comment. All right, so let's figure out what we did wrong. Oh, ha. how about we uh, migrate our database? There we go. Man, it's been a long day, so let's kill our server. Now let's do uh, Python 3, manage.py, make migrations. That's why that wouldn't work. So we'll get that set up there. And then Python 3 manage.py migrate and then python 3 manage.py run server and we'll open this back up go back back Taking a little longer than expected to catch up. All right, so let's try. Let's add one again. Sorry about that. It's all a learning process for all of us. See what happens when uh, I screw up too. Second post. We'll say John again, and John at gmail .com, and this is an awesome. Post and let's save it. Now it should work. And it did. Um, so approved didn't show up. Okay, so we'll take care of that in the next tutorial. Um, we're going to actually work with some forms and we'll also work with um, our views. So I'll see you in the next tutorial. If you have any questions, please leave a comment on YouTube. Don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to share the video.